everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today I'm going to show you how to add some compiz effects to your Ubuntu 14.04 desktop. Uh, now, this method will work with older versions of Ubuntu 13.10, 12.10, 12.04, all those. Um, while I'm on the subject of the older versions of Ubuntu, go ahead and upgrade to 14.04. There's not really a good reason not to. Um, and, you know, it gets you the, the newer kernel, updated software, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, comp is okay. What is comp is? I mean, you you may have seen uh, you know videos of people running the desktop cues to, cube to go from one uh, from from one desktop to the next. Um, you know, various animations, that sort of thing, and that's what comp is. Is it's a window manager. Comp is itself is a window manager. Uh, and Ubuntu has it installed by default, um, but also by default you really can't tweak it or make changes or, or that sort of thing. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add the Compiz Configuration Manager um, and then also some extra plugins to go along with it that will extend the, uh, uh, give you a little more uh, usability, I guess you could say, or a little more, a few more effects, that sort of thing. Um, so you could do this terminal, you can do it, um, uh, you know, Software Center, Synaptic, uh, you know, plenty of ways that you can go and, and, and add this software to your system. And what I will do is I'll throw down in the, uh, in the description of the video um, your commands to add this via the terminal if you want to do it that way um, or like I said go to the software center all you want to look for is you want to install um, just do a search for the for the compiz manager and it'll pull that up and then you also want the compiz extra plugins plain and simple okay so after go ahead and install that and then after that let me pull up compiz so now we have the Compiz Manager, and you got all kinds of different categories, of different stuff that you can tweak. Um, and let me pull up some windows just so you can kind of get some ideas of some of the different stuff that you can do here. Okay, let me open up, and you can see how my uh, when I open up a window, it kind of pops in from from. You know, or expands from behind. That's one of the one of the effects. And let me close it up, and you can see how it kind of folds closed, folds into nothingness. That's uh, those are all compiz effects there. And let me go and open another window. Let me pull up, open that one. And uh, what else? Let me pull open all kinds of stuff here. Uh, Okay, so I got all these windows open. If you click, you see how when I click on a window, they kind of shuffle to move one to the top. That is, all those are um, compiz effects. So, cool stuff there. And I mean, you know, none of this stuff is, oh, I got to have that for, you know, functionality. Uh, really for the most part these are all effects alright so let's take a look at some of the different things that you can do here <clears throat> now really it's impossible for me to go over every single thing that you can do but I'll kinda of give you some ideas here uh, some of the stuff you can do with this um, like I said, there's all kinds of stuff you can do here, but uh, yeah, at, at the very least, I'll show you what I did, um, you know, so that you can see how I did the animations on mine. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Um, scroll down here to effects, and right here where it says animations, when you open this up, this is your opening, closing, minimize, unminimize, shading, all, you know, all those different animations. And you will find the default, uh, the default Ubuntu 14.04 animations there. 
Um, and, you know, off the top of my head, I don't remember what they are. Um, but here you can see, you know, what I've done to get my, uh, to tweak mine. Um, I've, I'm using both the, actually three effects here for the opening. Uh, glide 1, Glide 2, and then this horizontal fold. And then that closing animation, we've got this, uh, we've got the Glide 2 there, and there's different depending on whether it's a normal window or a menu. Um, a horizontal fold and then a fading away. Um, my minimize is called glide is a glide too and if you watch my minimize let me find the uh, yeah there it is you see it kind of folds and glides down onto the uh, onto the menu the unminimize you can see that's also a glide too the shading animation it's kind of a roll up and then dodge is the uh, the the shuffling that I was showing you earlier. Let me go pull that up. There, that's called the dodge. So anyway, that's how I got that effect there. And then for all your various uh, animation effects, you can set make do do various things here. Uh, you know the amplitude of the effect. Um, you know for the different gliding, the starting and and ending positions, those sort of things. So anyway, that's that's probably the main thing that I've I've tweaked on mine. But as you can see, there's there's tons of effects you can do. If you are a fan of the wobbly windows, I do not like wobbly windows. To me, it is the most irritating effect known to mankind. Uh, but if you like them, right here is where you can go and add the wobbly windows effects, and then you know how fast you want the wobble to wobble, and and how much wobble, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so you got water, yeah, watery windows, <laughs> wobbly windows. Uh, so there's that. There's this water effect, um, freely transformable windows. I was talking about the desktop cube. You've got all that stuff right in here in the effects. Um, there's th there, and actually, let me pull up just a little bit more up here. Where do you go to desktop? Right there, if you click that, that'll give you the desktop cube. Uh, for for scrolling through your um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me your various um, desktops um, whereas I've, I'm using what they call the desktop wall which will basically just display uh, all of your open desktops on the wall and I'll show you here let me back it up here if you click that, you can see all of my open desktops. Um, whereas the desktop cube, it turns it into a cube, and you can rotate the cube. <clears throat> so anyway, I like the desktop wall thing better. Uh, whatever works for you, uh, you know, go with that. Uh, but anyway, if you want to do the cube, you click right there for the cube. There's your settings for, for rotating the cube. Um, and then down here, 3D windows. Basically, what that does is the end of the individual windows when you're doing the cube, they seem to like pop out from the uh, the cube itself. So, uh, you know, nice looking uh, effect, I guess, if you're if you're into the uh, the cube. Um, this right here puts puts uh, gears inside of the cube. This right here. The cube reflection and deformation. If you want to make it, um, you've probably seen where where people have modified their desktop cube and it looks like a drum that's rotating instead of a, a cube itself. You can do that right here. Um, and uh, being perfectly honest, I really haven't played with this that much because, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the cube. Um, but yeah, here. The de deformation, it, you can turn it into a cylinder or a sphere, however you want to go. Um, right here's window decorations. By default, um, even though Compiz can handle your window decorations, uh, in Ubuntu 14.04, uh, 
Compiz does not handle the window decorations anymore. And I believe you can go in here and change that using the, the default Compiz um, window decorator. Um, and from what I've read, and like I said, I've not tried it. It's not something I've really played with. But from what I've read, um, there's not a problem with it crashing. But, you know, basically, it's that's just what I've read. I, I've not tried it myself. So couldn't tell you on that one. Um, various utilities right here. Uh, right here, different stuff for managing your windows, for snapping the windows, scaling them, resizing, moving them around, all that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, kind of back to the to the effects. There's some other effects here. Fire paint paints fire particles on the screen. Trail focus. Um, not really played around with that one, so I'm not exactly sure on that one. Uh, this wizard right here kind of puts sparkly particles around your your mouse. Um, same thing. There's um, oh, we'll see if I can find it. I said there's tons of effects. Oh, there it is. Show mouse. It kind of highlights your mouse. And then um, also opacify. And then the opacity, brightness, and saturation. You can uh, you can modify how um, how opaque or bright various uh, windows are. So maybe if you've got multiple windows open, the one that is on top or the one that you're using, you can make it so that that one's nice and bright and then the others are kind of uh, washed out or opaque, that sort of thing. Uh, you've got a dim and active uh, uh, setting right there also. So like you see, there there's tons and tons of various settings and uh, you know, I guess my biggest advice to you is uh, uh, install it and play around with it for a while. Uh, <laughs> you know, not much else I could say about that. You know, because everybody, since these are mostly effects, um, you know, what one person likes isn't necessarily going to be something that another person likes. I know there's tons and tons of people that think that the wobbly windows thing is the coolest effect known to mankind. I, I, can't stand it. I, th I think it's annoying as all get out, but uh, you know, that's just me. Anyway, that kind of finishes things up here. There's not a whole lot to for me to go into on that. Um, I will, oh, I will also in the uh, show description um, give you a link to the uh, to the Compiz homepage and it'll give you, you know, more detailed descriptions of what each individual effect is and and all that sort of thing uh, and that about finishes things up thanks a lot for watching as always uh, give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the uh, the show and uh, keep subscribing so you can get these great videos and I will see you on the next video thanks a lot